feeling pretty happy right now. But it's not always been this way. I've been noticing that I'm feeling happy because I've not really smiled very much for the past 15 years or longer. Through my husband's recovery from alcoholism, our separation, then our divorce, then all the challenges in that period of time leading up to his death and then after his loss, I lost my smile. It's hard. It's really hard loving an alcoholic because there's that part of you that yeah, somewhere there's hope deep inside that things will change and mix in with all the anger, the regret, this bundle of emotions. And in that whole bundle, just happiness and joy just gets devoured, gets forgotten. I forgot how to smile. There were, there were moments of happiness, I would call them Picasso moments, those little, little pockets where just a moment you just wanted to capture it and frame it because it was beautiful. Picasso moments. I grew to look for those and enjoy them. And I think that was probably the first step that I took over all those years is just looking for little moments that could make me smile. And making a conscious choice to look for them despite all of the chaos that was going on around me. And all of the guilt, the doubt, the insecurities, the anger, um, the regret, just the sadness. That was all bundled inside of me. But I'm smiling. And this is a real smile. It's not just one for the camera. This is real. And I've been feeling this way for weeks now. And it all happened during the pandemic, during lockdown, when I was forced to slow down. And all these things that I thought about doing, I actually started doing. And I started making some changes, making some different choices, things that I didn't normally do. And putting myself first and actually choosing to look for joy in life, bring it back into my life again. And somewhere along the way, it just changed. It changed and I can tell you exactly when that moment was. And it was at that moment where something happened to make me feel it was okay to let go. To let go of the past. To let go of all those emotions. All those hard memories that kept pulling me back. I was able to let go and move forward. Blossom. And Blossom Bottle has come from this. It's that desire to help more people feel this way and find that smile again. Because you can and you will. It's in there. And through Blossom Bottle, through uh, my blog, through my podcasts and hopefully my writings one day through a book and through speaking I hope to share with you my story and the things that I've done that I've learned to do along the way to find this smile again because you can too might not feel like it right now but you can I promise you you can and I hope to be the one that's able to help you because it's wonderful let's help you blossom again open up to joy and get that smile back